Hey guys, I want to show you something real cool. Neat, huh? I finally got it. I had a friend who, you know, had a Bionicle account, so he already spent the $100 worth, and he got this thing free gift with purchase. If you don't know, just like I said, the free gift with purchase, this is a free gift with purchase, that there's only two ways to get it. One, like my friend got it, spending $100 and getting it as a side thing, or two, you have to go to a Lego website and you have to spend yet another hundred dollars and get this in person there. Um, I didn't have either of those options to me. I could have gotten an account, but I decided not to because it's like I would only get it just to get those hundred dollars and get this, and then I wouldn't use the account ever again because, you know, unless they had something, another worth thing, but it's like it didn't have anything else that was worth it to have the account for, so I didn't really didn't like the idea of making an account just to get one thing, you know? But anyway, I'm glad I finally got it. I think it was a little bit of a strange effort you have to give just to get this, but at least we have something, you know. At least we have the idea of, you know, oh, new Bionicle set, yes. Um, but yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make this little intro video talk about it a little bit. This box is kind of reminding me of like a Throwbots box. Like, you know, remember, oh, well, not everybody remembers it, but like Throwbots had to where it was like, you know, it was like, hey, it's like, but some of the Throwbots, I should say, the bigger Throwbots were in boxes like this, so that's pretty cool. But um, in a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and build it, and then after that, I'm going to go ahead and then I'm going to give my thoughts on it, and then see what exactly, you know, very cool, very neat. Comes with a little Takanuva, like little Matora guy right there. But yeah, I can't wait to build it and, you know, share my thoughts. And it's very interesting how it says 18 plus. Normally these things like, like 10 and up or 16 and up or something like that. But yeah, I'll, all right, I'll get to it. You'll see, you guys will see me in a moment. I'm going to express more thoughts. If I wanted to get one, kind of one video shot of it unopened, and then I'll get a video of it open, so. See you guys in a moment. And after just a little bit of building, it's done. Now, I will have to say, this build, this build felt a little bit short, but I can't complain because the box was only this big. So what did I expect? <laughs> um, I tried to cherish this moment of building this as much as I could by listening to some Bionicle music or music related to my childhood a little bit to remember this, you know, kind of just honor it a little bit, because I don't know how long it's going to be since, you know, until we have another Bionicle set. So I wanted to, you know, just kind of think about it and, you know, just kind of reminisce in the times of when I used to build Bionicle. So here's what I'm going to say is that I liked the, um, what's it called? They did a, they did a couple features. Um, a lot of what I'm going to point out is what uh, a lot of viewers are going to probably already have pointed out by this time. This this set has been out for a couple months. Um, I liked that they had a booklet because some recent sets I was building did not have a booklet. Instead, they had to where you either had to like download an app or stuff like that, and I didn't. No, just no. <laughs> I like a physical, you know, physical booklet to kind of you know say hey. And they also had like a neat little message on the inside saying, hey, yo, Bionicle, you know, was an awesome thing and all the other jazz that goes with that. <clears throat> so this was, you know, the, the build wasn't bad. Um, Tahu was the last thing that you did build in this. First you built a little stand that's supposed to represent uh, Matanui and Makuta. It's a bit simplified, but I can't really, you know, I can't really complain here because it's this small. How are they going to put that much detail in something this small? So, you know what I mean? And then they had this cool stand, which I thought was really neat. Um, this is what Tahu is supposed to stand on. Uh, it's supposed to be this little surfboard, and that's really neat. Um, apparently, <clears throat> then we have, uh, not Takanuba, um, Takua, that's his name. Takua with a little disc, and it's supposed to be reminiscent of the little McDonald's, e either the McDonald's one or the newer one they built, which was after um, the McDonald's, you know, tried a little uh, Matoran thing. Oh, so many things they went with, and I, I, remembering it all is just amazing. But uh, Takua can 
if he if he wants to. Um, he can clip on to Tabu's back again if he wants to. Ah, there you go. So yeah, he can clip onto his back. That way he's like you know piggyback ride or you know just carrying him. Actually, wait, yeah, that was a scene in the in the movie. I just remember that. Yeah, that was a scene in the movie. He tossed him on his back so that way he could ride the lava. <clears throat> this is, you know, so... Let me see, what else? Um, I like the little, uh, what's supposed to look like light piping on the back of um, Tahu, and they did the back of uh, Takua on that as well. I just... I was building it, and it felt similar to, it kind of felt like that feeling I felt when I, you know, was actually building box sets, but in the same vein, like, I knew something was different. Like, it just, it still felt like recent sets I was building with Sonic and Donkey Kong. It felt, you know, it still felt like you were taking Lego pieces and then making them Bionicle-wise. Something about Technic makes it feel different. I understand that the idea of Technic has been retired as a actual format of building, or at least it only has been utilized to building vehicles, but, I don't know, something about building those specific, you know, pieces into a figure is something you can't replace. Now, give me one more. I cannot end this review without properly comparing him to the original. So, we have here Tahu. And Tahu. Now, this Tahu was an original Tahu, and I love this because we have this functionality of going back and forth with the arms. Maybe he's been modified, I can't remember. As far as I know, I kept him pretty decent to the original, at least from what I remember. If there's anything different, please let me know. But yeah, I kept him, you know, to the original. He has the gear function. He can't move the middle of his arms. This is that is one benefit that the new Tahu has is the idea of posability with the arms and with the legs. The old Tahu cannot do as such with the arms and legs. He cannot bend them. He still has ankle pivot though, whereas this one does not, which is a odd thing. But hey, I think the major thing they wanted to go for here was the idea of him being able to stand on its own. So they traded ankle pivots or ankle movement, I should say, for the idea of um, you know him standing in general. Because he already is much smaller, therefore he does need more support. Or I guess the idea would be if he was larger, he'd need more support. Mm. Different builds. This is from, you know, Lego pieces. This is from Technic pieces. So it's, there's a whole slew of different things going on right here. Um, they maybe could have added a gear function in the middle of it. But again, they were trying to make it, to, again, cheap enough to be a gift with purchase thing. Not really too complex here, but just something to pay homage to the idea of the original Toa. Um, he is short. The newer guy is shorter. Uh, that I can see. I like that the mask is very reminiscent of the older one, but in the same vein, there's still something missing. Something, you know, cool about that original one. Just something about this is just... I don't know, just look at it. Maybe it's just nostalgia with, you know, tinted red glasses or however the crap you say it. Um, but just something. You know, something. Something. Anyway. To wrap this review up, I'm going to say that this new uh, Tahu, I I like the old Tahu. I like to give him a 9 out of 10 because eight for $8, you just got this little guy in a in a can, you didn't need this extra stuff, but it was just instant play and instant, just something, something about those ball joints that move quite perfectly, you know, just, I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I like how they got everything, you know, mimicked down to the two fingers. Let's see, I'm going to see that. Two fingers, two fingers. I, I do like that, but this guy gets a 9 out of 10. This guy over here... I like it. Don't get me wrong. I really like this, but maybe to be lenient, to you know, give it its fair share, probably more like an eight out of ten, whereas that one's a nine out of ten. As far as just a solid set goes, as far as like you know, actually, ooh, let me get seven out of ten because of the way you had to get this set. Automatically, I am docking a point. I'm sorry, but I 
do not like how they made it kind of tricky to get this set. It just kind of makes me angry. Um, but I just I just don't like that how they said oh jump through jump through a couple hoops. It's like I don't wanna. I I, I wanna buy. I'll pay you extra. I don't care if the set's like a couple more dollars, you know, or you know I just, I, I I don't like how they you know did that. Anyway, everything is you know really cool, and I really love them paying homage like that. Again, that rumor about Bionicle 2025, if it's if it's a true thing, awesome. If it's not, it's not. I'm okay either way. Um, I mean, I hope they get back to Bionicle at some point, but we'll have to wait and see. By the way, in case you're listening, you probably have heard this as well because it's already too late to hear this, but do listen to the new, I hope I'm saying this right, Essinger track with Cryo Shell built in. He really needs the support. Go support Essinger, who has helped Cryo Shell as well. Go sh support Christian Faber, uh, Greg Barshti. I'm not sure how I say his name. I probably said it incorrectly. Go support him. Go support LEGO in general in the idea that maybe one day they can get the sets, you know, like this. Or maybe we can get new IPs that, you know, capture something like we had with The Legend of Bionicle. You know, one last thing I'll say, I, I'm sorry, I keep going on, but like, Essinger did have like a little thing where he made, uh, he like word dubbed, you know, the Bionicle uh, commercial, where it was like the narrator of Bionicle having like a little bit of an existential crisis, being all like, you know, this, wh where was Bionicle, this, how could this be? Don't tell me this was all just a legend, don't tell me, don't leave me here. It was more than, it's like, I, I agree with these words, I'm sorry if I'm copying them, but I have to say them, it's like, this is more than just a legend, this is more than just objects, it is Bionicle. And then he said in a, you know, awesome voice, each set soul separately, as though he was just sad to leave it alone. And it's the same thing I'm doing here, I can't I can't end this video. It, it seems like I need to, but it's just I can't pry myself away from this. I love, I loved. This is a huge part of my childhood, and this is kind of like my, possibly one of my last times to ever say something about it. I hope I get to say, say something about it in the future. But just, just go out there and whoever is Bionicle fan, just please reminisce and everything you have clinging to this because it is something that clearly whether it be imagination whether it be storytelling whether it be you know however your creative outlet however you turned out as a person you have to admit that this plays a part of you if you're a bionicle fan it somehow has you know affected you in a way where you know your life and everything is just so good so go out there and See you guys later. Thanks.